and there we go guys our game has successfully started and this time you will be able to notice we are getting more than 60 fps almost 70 fps while emulating gta 5 on our android devices let's get started yo what's up guys it's aptrix here today in this video i'll be showing you guys the best settings for horizon windows emulator for android now in our last video we set up this emulator and tried out games like pal world and gta 5 which you guys already saw the gameplay of but in today's video i'll be showing you guys the settings so you get the best amount of performance possible and to fix some of the issues that you might face while emulating games i'll also go over minimum requirements so be sure to watch the video till the end now first of all once you set up horizon emulator make sure that you go to this section after few days if you see an option known as update all then it means that a brand new update is available for horizon windows emulator so scripts can be updated also if we scroll down wine can be updated wine patches can be updated and it is also required so uh, what you'll need to do is make sure to update all of this the reason why horizon emulator is one of the best windows emulator for android in terms of performance and optimization is because it uses latest version of wine and also latest scripts latest bug fixes and much more so right here you'll be able to see we went from script version 5 to version 7 wine 9.7 vanilla is also being updated along with wine patches once everything is updated it will refresh the emulator and yeah we are now all set as you know once you open settings you get few options so in terms of x11 settings make sure to choose display resolution mode a bit less if you want better performance for example 800 by 600 p will be pretty good resolution as well as provide you with better fps but i'll be going with 720p for today's video as it has some quality issues anyways once that has been done let's go to environment settings now in terms of environment settings there are a lot of options which might be confusing to many of you guys so I'll be explaining everything to you first of all uh, it will be set to default so what you'll need to do is create a new preset for that just go ahead and tap on the plus button and you can name your preset anything I'll name this preset as performance once that has been done tap on confirm and now we'll get lot of options so in terms of display mode make sure to turn off show real variable name option and make sure to enable box 64 dynamic now some settings will be by default set to performance if you disable dynamic box 64 then all of these options will not work so you'll have to make sure to enable this option afterwards set the big block to 2 because if you read the disclaimer then if you choose to build block bigger it is the fastest option afterwards make sure to turn off use double for x87 emulation scroll down make sure to enable don't emulate nan you will be able to read the informations for example if you disable nan then it will be slower also enable don't use precise rounding once that has been done in terms of call red flags this is very important make sure to set this option as zero now in mobox simulator we have dynamic settings we also have dynamic settings in win later so basically this is manually setting our preferences and if you read its uh, disclaimer it says performance impact is medium if we select zero as call red flags then it will be the fastest option afterwards in terms of emulate strong memory this will have a very high impact on performance now everything has been explained here if you set the emulate strong memory model to zero it will be fast but it may cause games to crash and freeze so if you are testing out any game and it is crashing on your device you can set the emulate strong memory model to number one which will enable some memory barrier it will decrease the performance by a little bit but if you enable the third option then it is the slowest you will get very low fps but it may fix freezing issues in few games so that's up to you depending on the game that you are emulating once that has been done in terms of wine variable make sure to enable event fd sync which will give you boost in performance once that has been done this is the most important setting because if you don't edit this preset then you will get an annoying fps bar in the middle right side of your screen which is very annoying make sure to turn on mango hut if you want to see your device performance you can also customize it for example uh, disabling ram information disabling driver and gpu name or disabling uh, the resolution option but i recommend you guys to keep these option enabled so you can monitor your device performance as well as games performance once that has been done make sure to decrease the font size and also set the position from middle left to top right anyways don't use dxvk hud as we have already enabled mango hud it is way better in terms of gallium make sure to enable this option afterwards make sure to keep mesa shader catch enabled now shader catch will depend according to this setting for example if you are playing games like gta 5 you will see stuttering issues but the next time you play gta 5 you won't face stuttering issue in that 
location because we have enabled shader cache now if you increase the size of this shader cache it will make sure that lot of shaders are stored properly and you won't face any stuttering issue so the max size should be around 4 gb but if you have an low-end device you can keep it to 1 gb once that has been done make sure to disable turnip sync draw and don't enable this option unless you are using a snapdragon 845 devices afterwards scroll down you don't need to mess with debug settings and yeah guys those are going to be the best configuration for performance in the horizon windows emulator for android once you are all set you can just go to the container that you created afterwards choose the preset that you just created and then tap on the ok button you can also check out box 64 versions if they have been updated or not if they have not been updated then you can go by default and then tap on the file manager and there we go guys horizon windows emulator has successfully booted and we should be able to play it pretty easily by the way in the latest version of horizon emulator input bridge is also automatically started so you don't really need to worry about about it and yeah guys everything should work properly without you facing any issues and as you can see the mango heart went from this section to right here also let me talk about minimum requirements so if you have a mediatek processor android device unfortunately you cannot use the horizon windows emulator as it still does not have mali virtual support so until mali gpu are supported in horizon emulator you can't really use this emulator on your android device and if you want to play PC games on a MediaTek processor then you should go with Mobox Simulator though you will still not get any playable results in that as well. So yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.